Hello, Leo viewers. So as you guys know, I have recently started doing third-party readings. So there's going to be a diverse mix of things on this channel. I'm switching it up just a little bit, but I'm still doing the regular um, mid-month and beginning of the month zodiac readings as well. But I'm also doing third-party readings too, and uh, maybe financial readings here and there as well. So there's going to be a mix of things on this channel. But let's get into the reading. Let's see what's going on. Um, it's just whatever the cards want to say. There could be financial messages that come out. Could be uh, regarding soulmates. Could be friends. You know, just could be about your own personal career path. Just whatever the cards want to say. Whatever's going on. Okay, we've got love offer, commitment. It's just the current energy for this energy group of Leos. Manipulation, deception. Stagnation, complacency, anger, miscommunication. Confusion and uncertainty. see this energy here this is interesting so I'm getting two different stories here actually so story number one just really quick is I feel like someone got a love offer here or someone had someone that was interested in them in them and they have a frenemy around them so this could be two women and this woman that lied about this masculine man, or this masculine energy, out of jealousy. So basically, it's like she got this love offer, and this other woman right here was jealous of her, because it's like it's one of those it's one of those like fake friends, basically. It's like a friend that's trying to sabotage this woman and trying to sabotage um, this connection out of jealousy, but she's pretending to have her best interest at heart. You see how this woman right here is blindfolded and this other woman is whispering in her ear. It's like she's saying, this could be verbally, this could be psychically, but it's like she's whispering like, oh, this guy is a cheater or he's a player or, you know, you don't want that. You could do better. And there was actually something really beautiful here that this person had to offer because this woman is so bitter and jealous. She didn't like, this could, this could, could be two women that like the same person. But this could also just be a fake friend, just one of those bitter people where it's like he or she doesn't want to see their friends doing better than them. It's like they it's it's like fake support. Like she's pretending like she has this woman's best interest at heart and saying like, oh, he's a cheater or, or he does this or that. Um, but in reality, she's just jealous of this couple or she's just jealous of this woman. Maybe this woman's very attractive. And so this other woman is jealous of her and thinking like, why does, why does my best friend or why does my close friend get all the love offers and all the attention and these roses and all these suitors and all the, the business opportunities and whatnot. So someone's jealous here. Someone does not actually have your best interest at heart and it caused, caused stagnation in this connection. Now this could be like, maybe like, um, you know, your friends don't like your person or something like that. And you think that it's because they're trying to protect you, but the reality is they're actually, someone's actually jealous of you here. Now only take it if it resonates. Don't take, you know, if it's not resonating, don't try to make it fit because you would have intuitively felt this already. Like this would be someone where you tell them, you know, you got a promotion at work and they seem disappointed and you're like kind of confused because you're looking at their body language and their facial expression and their energy and they don't seem happy for you. Or you get a marriage proposal and they just don't seem like they're happy. It seems like, or you dress cute in front of them and they, they comment on your weight or they comment on how you need to do your hair differently or something. It's like, they're always just kind of like, you know, this person intuitively, you already know this person's jitter, uh, jealous and bitter and insecure. Like you would already know this, this would, this would be no news to you. This would not be, if this is a shock to you, then this is probably not your story. 
or this variation. There's, there's another story here as well. But this is the first story that there's just someone that's kind of manipulative that's out, you know, kind of just trying to sabotage you basically. But like I said, if this is for you, you're going to know it already. Like you would have already felt off about this person. Like you've already kind of felt jealousy from this person. You know that this person is super insecure, super dramatic, likes to play the victim, trying to keep you stagnant. Um, and there's some miscommunication and they caused issues between your person and now there's a lot of confusion here that needs to be cleared up because this could actually be someone that's like maybe this person was offering you the world really early on and this person this other one was like jealous of that they're like why does why does he love her or why does why do these two people love each other so early on and so she tried to you know say things like oh I bet he's just love bombing you or I bet she's just love you know male or female how take it how it resonates but I bet this person that wants to offer you this love is just love bombing you. I bet they don't really love you that much. I bet this, you know, and I bet this isn't going to last. It's going too fast. You know, something like that where it's just like they think it seems like they're trying to be protective. But intuitively, you kind of feel like something is off there because they're just never happy for you. Like they always want to compete with you no matter what. Like your body feels tense around them. You just feel something is off about them. Um, and so this needs to be cleared up because there was actually a genuine love offer here. So maybe listen to your own heart and your own intuition and don't listen to this other toxic uh, feminine energy so much. So that's the first story. The second story is, I feel like someone, so for the second story, I feel like someone might have made a love offer, but it was manipulative. Like it was, um, I feel like, let me, I'm trying to put my finger on this energy. I think they weren't fully ready to make this love offer, but they didn't want to lose you. And so now there's kind of this weird disconnect there, like this stagnant kind of energy. And there's some miscommunication and even anger and confusion going on between the two of you. So there's some kind of confusion and uncertainty going on between these two people. However it plays out, whether a friend tried to separate you or not, this is just the energy I'm picking up overall. It's just that there's some kind of confused energy between these two. Yeah, for some, for some, there was like someone from the past that tried to seduce this person and the divine stepped in. This could be a karmic that tried to come around. This could actually be, so this could be a third party situation for some of you where the karmic came in and tried to make it seem like she was your friend and had your best interest at heart. And because she wanted to get back with this person. So this could be a situation where it's like you start dating somebody new when everything seems great. And then you get a message out of nowhere from, from the karmic saying like, oh, well, you don't know that he does this and this and this. And something feels off about it. Like you, you kind of know the story with her already, but you're not sure. You're a little bit scared, a little bit blindfolded. And the divine is intervening because this is just a jealous karmic that wants to get in between these two people. So you might have gotten a message from a jealous person. Yeah, someone who, who likes to party a lot. Someone who likes to be the center of attention. Choose a path. Brisk. Yeah, I think some of you, um, or this, this could, take it as it resonates. This could be you or your person, but some of you are having a hard time choosing a path. Because some of you have a habit of like sabotaging your relationships or getting scared, which, you know, it's normal. It happens. But some of you kind of have to choose. Do you want to listen to this person that needs attention all the time? Or do you want to take a risk? Do you want to take this bold gesture and choose love over fear? And it doesn't mean everything's going to be perfect. Like, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get heartbroken. You could. But you kind of have to decide because you've been in limbo. And it's kind of like it's time to decide is this person this that's giving you this love offer or wanting to give you this love offer, are they worth the risk? Is it worth it? You know what I mean? Do you want to choose love over fear? Or do you want to listen to this other person? But I feel like this person is either lying or they're exaggerating the truth a lot. So maybe, you know, they're just not telling things like it is. And that's not to say that if you go down this path, everything's going to be perfect. I mean, you know, things happen. I don't, I can't say for sure you're not going to get hurt. I don't want to say that. You know, I can't say that. These, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. But it's just kind of saying like, what path do you want to go down? Because you're in limbo right now. 
So it's like, do you want to listen to this person and listen to your fears and sabotage? Or do you want to just take a leap of faith and accept this love offer and see what happens? It's up to you. Pride and stubbornness, magic, intention, power, manifestation. Willpower, strength, confidence. Yeah, someone here, either, either you or them might need to take things slowly. Maybe you did sabotage the connection in the past out of fear. Like maybe you were afraid that they were cheating on you and they actually weren't. And you ended up kind of jumping to conclusions. So there might be someone here that does want to take this slowly. And it does require confidence. It does require strength. It does require willpower to get out of this cycle of being prideful and stubborn. It's like these two people that really want to talk to each other. But for whatever reason, they're just not talking to each other. They're just, you know, someone's afraid here. Someone doesn't want to get hurt. And so it's kind of stagnant. So this is kind of the energy overall I get of this spread is don't let in other people interfere in your business. Don't let other people interfere in your relationships. Be careful who you vent to. Be careful who you trust and who you talk to. Because for some, like this masculine might genuinely love you or this feminine energy, take it how it resonates. Could be, it could be, you know, masculine or feminine. There's no gender assigned here. But... This, this energy is kind of just, just the energy of keep other people out of your business and out of your relationship and trust your own heart and trust your own intuition. So if you're with this person or talking to this person and you're feeling like something's off, you're feeling red flags here, you're feeling like, like something's wrong, then listen to that. But if you're taking your past experiences from being hurt and, and projecting it onto this new relationship, you might end up messing up a good thing. You know what I mean? Like it might be one of those situations where it's like you actually trust this person completely, but you have jealous people around you that are, that are, you know, out, out to get this person or, or just out to get you that don't want to see you happy. And they don't even know this person. Some of you, like I said, it's like a friend that doesn't even know this, this masculine or feminine energy. And they're saying like, oh, you, you need to watch yourself. You don't know this person. But it's like, well, they've never even met the person or they met them once at a party or something, but they don't really know them. So the energy I get of this spread is kind of keep other people out of this relationship, you know, cut, maybe you need to cut ties with some people as well, because you need to to and go be wise about this plan your approach choose your words wisely if you're going to have this conversation some of you need to catch someone in the act someone is is lying and you need to kind of catch them so you need to be a few steps ahead of them and be smart about this so you can see exactly what they're trying to do and how they're trying to sabotage you but um like i said it's just listen to your own intuition like i said if there's red flags here then listen to those red flags but for some for some of you there are no red flags with this love offer it was just unexpected. Like this person came in quickly and you weren't ready for it. And so don't get caught up in self-sabotage. Don't get caught up in your head, you know, doubting this connection just because other people don't believe in it. This could be like a situation too where someone proposes to you early on and like other people around you are like, oh, that's ridiculous. You can't get married, you know, six months after you meet someone. You can't, you know what I mean? Like other people are kind of projecting their own ideas of what marriage should be like or what relationships should look like onto you. This could be family as well that's kind of projecting this onto you. Like, you know, kind of just judging or someone, someone just, just like a, a frenemy here that you need to look out for and you need to... Some of you are kind of impressionable with this energy. It's like maybe you, you know what I mean? It's like, cause, cause I think that they play on your fears. I think that you've been hurt a lot and this could be future energy. This might not be, you know, this could be something that's coming up that in the near future that you need to be aware of. You know, maybe you, maybe you just started dating someone and you're about to introduce them to a friend and you know, it's kind of saying like, if this friend immediately doesn't like them off the bat, don't be so quick to to listen to that if you feel good about this person. It's about what you feel. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about this love offer? How do you feel about having a future with this person? Don't worry about how your friends or your family feel about this person. How do you feel about them? 
you know, you really, this, this energy, is it really about trusting your own intuition and, and following your heart and doing what feels right for you? You know, listening to the red flags and the green flags. Um, you know, really kind of, you know, stepping back to decide what is, what's for you and what's not for you. You know what I mean? Um, because like I said, if, if I think that you already know this about this person. Like, I think that you've already felt off about this friend or whoever this energy is that wants is kind of wants to sabotage you. So you you're already a few steps ahead here. You already have felt this energy before. Um, or this could be a karmic. Like I said, some of you, this is like a warning that you might be maybe just dating someone and you know that they have an ex husband or an ex wife or um, some kind of crazy you know crazy ex partner or or whatever or an ex best friend that's out to get them or someone that's jealous of them. Maybe they've opened up to you about it and they've told you like, hey, like I'm, I'm going through a divorce or I'm going through this kind of situation. And some of you, this is like a warning for near, this is like near future energy for a lot of you is what I'm feeling. Some of you, this has not come into play yet, but I think it's going to within a month for a lot of you. So some of you might be getting like a message out of nowhere on like social media or something from this person's ex or the someone that this person's connected to. And they might be telling lies about this person and they're going to play off of your fears. This is like a psychic vampire type where it's like you've been through a lot. You've been heartbroken. You've been hurt a lot. You've been cheated on. And so it's going to be really, it's almost like, you know, someone's going through like the honeymoon phase here and they're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. And um, when this message comes in, it's like, they're you know, someone here is going to be like, oh crap, like is this, like maybe this was too good to be true. Maybe, you know what I mean? Like they're going to get in their head and it's just saying like, wait a minute, get all the facts first. Don't make any hasty decisions. Um, because I feel like someone's going to play on your emotions here. And this could be a karmic from this person's past. that's going to message you to try to break you two up out of jealousy. And you need to kind of have your person's back. And you need to look into things. So let's say that they said, you know, oh, they're texting me and they're they're cheating. Say, okay, well, send me the text messages. Send me with all the dates and all the info. You know what I mean? Something like of that sort, like, send, like you know, show me. You have voice clips from this person saying that, you know, they miss you, want you back. Okay, show me, send, forward me the voice clips right here. You know, get the proof. Get the proof. And make sure you have the dates and everything timestamped there. For others, I feel like this might not even be a person. It might be your own fears and insecurities that are just going to come into play here that you need to watch out for. Because the overall energy I get for this spread is that there's a strong warning not to sabotage something good because of past experiences and because of fears. Some of you have been cheated on, so you have this very deep-rooted fear of being cheated on. And it's basically saying, don't bring that into this new relationship. And, and it doesn't mean that you're not going to have any baggage. Everybody has baggage. You're going to have fears. You're going to have insecurities. But talk to this person. Be open with this person. Because some of you are going to end up going through like an almost toxic phase where you just want to go through your person's phone or you want to you know where they're at every second of the day. And you're going to catch yourself doing it. And you never expected that you would get into that energy. But... Your fears are going to come up in ways that you didn't expect. And, you know, you could end up sabotaging a good relationship. So there's just sort of this warning here. Don't sabotage something real out of fear. Don't sabotage something good. Step back. Step back from this person's opinions, from your friends, family, everyone's opinions, and hear your own voice, hear your own intuition. Try to separate from the past experiences just a little bit. Are there really red flags with this person or are you looking for the worst case scenario because you're so used to being hurt? You know what I mean? Like really listen to your intuition. Does this feel different? Does this feel real to you? Does this feel different? Is this person giving you love and attention and things that you did not get from other people in your past? Um, is this person playing games? Like, be honest with yourself. But don't create problems that are not there. Don't look for things to be wrong right off the bat. You know what I mean? Because some of you are going to end up testing this person. And this person's not going to have it. This person's going to shut you out. Because there was that warning there that some of you are going to... This is going to come in quickly for some of you. And you're not going to be used to it. And so you're going to get scared. And you're going to panic. And some of you are going to, you know... 
jump to conclusions when you get this message from the karmic or when, you know, your best friend that's kind of a friend of me tells you, hey, watch out, this person, this is moving too quickly. Um, you know, some of you are going to jump to conclusions. Some of you are going to, you know, attack this person. You know, you're going to get this message from the karmic and you're going to immediately attack your person and call them and be like, oh my gosh, she said you, she said you cheated and you did this and this and this. And he's going to be kind of upset because it's, or he or she is going to be kind of upset because they're going to be like, why did you not have my back? Why don't you just come to me logically? Why don't you just approach me and talk to me about this and show me the message? You know, because where's the proof? Where's the proof that I cheated? I didn't cheat. I can show you, you know what I mean? Like this person has proof that they're not doing what this other person thinks or says they're doing. So it's kind of this message of having your person's back. And I know it's hard when you've been hurt a lot. It's hard to trust. And it doesn't mean that you have to just dive in and trust this person 100%. It just means that you need to find a balance. Um, You know what I mean? Like if someone does warn you that this person cheated or did this or that, like, yeah, you should take that seriously. You should listen to that. But don't immediately attack your person. Don't immediately just rush in and be like, hey, this person said you did this and this and this. How dare you? I knew this was too good to be true. Because your person's going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? They're going to, you know what I mean? They're going to get distant from you. So approach this person and say, hey, this person said you did this. I don't want to believe them. And, and talk to them face to face and be honest and be like, you know, please be honest with me though. Did this happen? Like, wh why, why are they saying this? Like kind of, and, and feel their body language, read them, you know, read the room. There's a balance here. There's a balance. Some of you lack that balance between like, overreacting and impulsiveness and like shutting your feelings out and not acknowledging things that need to be acknowledged and sweeping things under the rug because it's kind of like whatever this warning is it's like you don't want to sweep it under the rug but you don't want to be impulsive and jump to conclusions either you need to find a middle ground so that you don't sabotage this connection with this person because this person wants you to trust them and have their back so you do need to talk to them and be open and honest and kind of feel it out for yourself and listen to your own intuition above everybody else's don't let this person convince you of anything. Don't let your friend, don't let the karmic convince you of anything. Listen to your own intuition. This is about putting your own intuition first and trusting that. Trusting your spirit, guys. Divine intervention, synchronicity. It could be little kitty spirits here helping you as well. Because um, for some, I just get the energy that like this relationship is going to come in quickly, unexpectedly, and it's going to be like a love at first sight type of scenario. And some of you are going to get freaked out and you're going to want to sabotage it and you're going to want to bring relation like relationship issue issues from your past relationships into this relationship where you're gonna be like you know and if this is your reading you want me to go more in depth into it just send me an email and I'll look more into it my email is dragon enchantress at aol.com it's right below in the description box below this video any donations are appreciated too even just a dollar it adds up quickly my donation links are also below but anyway some of you, it's like, yeah, it's like you're going to want to sabotage this because you're not going to be used to it. You're going to feel it's different. You're going to feel it's real. And then there's going to be this fear of the, um, it's, it's uncontrollable. It's unpredictable. You're not used to it. So it's kind of saying like if you, maybe you, maybe you were cheated on by your last person and it still has left a scar. So in this relationship, it's like, don't go through this person's phone. Don't go accusing them of cheating just because they were gone an hour longer than they said they were going to be. You know what I mean? Like, don't jump to conclusions like that. Be logical about things. Be balanced. If you feel something's wrong, acknowledge it. Talk to them about it. This person's mature. This person's wise. This person's mature. This person's logical. So they will, they will listen to your concerns. Like, and they'll respect you. This person likes honesty and vulnerability and open communication. So if you go to this person and you said, hey, you know, like I've, I've been hurt a lot. I've been cheated on. I've gone through this and I, I don't want to bring this baggage into our relationship, but I am scared. I need to be honest with you. I am scared about the, about this. Can I just, I'm sorry. I know it's not logical, but can I just ask, you know, why you were gone longer than you said you were going to be? I'm trying to work through my trust issues. Please bear with me. This person is going to love that you are honest with them and that you didn't just jump to conclusions. You didn't just jump right to attacking them. You actually took a step back and gathered your thoughts and expressed it in a healthy way. And this person is very mature and stable and they're going to admire that. This is like a king or queen of pentacles kind of energy. This is someone who's logical. So they don't do drama. They don't do impulsiveness. And you need to be mindful of this because... I just get a warning that some of you might be quick to like want to go through this person's phone or want to 
assume the worst or assume they were cheating and just jump at them. And if you do that, they're going to disconnect. They're not going to, they're not going to go, they're not going to do the drama. They're just not, they're going to be really quick to, um, they're just not going to do it. And so it's just kind of this warning here, like don't sabotage a good relationship. This could also be a warning for some of you. It could be the other way around where maybe you're about to meet someone and they're going to need a lot of patience because they have some really deep rooted trust issues to get through. Um, so I hope that all resonates and makes sense. If it does, please subscribe. Please share this because maybe someone that you know needs to hear these messages. My email is below. If you would like a private reading, just send me an email. I am doing $40 readings this week only. So, um, so yeah, send me an email if you'd like to book that. Thank you guys for watching.